Actually, let's go to this one. It's a bit better. There's some big changes happening. So tenants will be able to claim refunds on their rent from landlords if they if the home falls behind behind certain standards. Um, you won't be able to evict people very easily. And it's abolishing no fault section 21 evictions. Um, which could mean if you've got a problem tenant, it's going to be very, very hard to get rid of them. Tenancy agreements are going to be scrapped almost, um, you know, so that if you've got a six month or a 12 month agreement, like renters will be able to rent for much longer. Again, if you've got a problem tenancy, then that's going to be an even bigger problem. Um, the government's proposing a shift to an open ended tenancy. Um, so that's going to be a good thing for tenants. You know, I was I rented in the UK um, for many years. Um, let me think. I think it was 18 years I rented for. So I know it from both angles. I know I didn't make millions from property, unfortunately. I've just started recently becoming, I'd say, a good landlord. But anyway, on to this. No more rent high clauses. So you're not going to be able to raise rents, even if... Um, I mean, I don't know who decides about arbitrary rent reviews, but if inflation is going up and you're having trouble um, and you want to raise rents in line with the market, then it's going to be very difficult. And then again, 21% um, of the rent of rent, private renters living in unfit homes. So that is going to help um, you know, with damp, moldy, electrical hazards. That's going to help improve the housing stock. Um, this is a bit interesting. An ombudsman is going to be proposed in the UK for private renters, and that will mean that um, landlords will face £25,000 of refunds. Uh, there'll be a ban on landlords refusing to rent to people claiming benefits. Um, so they're not, we're not, landlords are not supposed to discriminate against people claiming benefits, um, but apparently they do. This can leave low-income tenants with limited options white paper promises to make it illegal for landlords or agents to have blanket bans. But as a landlord, I don't know if this means that we can't choose our tenants. I think um, that should be a choice. Landlords own the asset. The government doesn't own it. I think the landlord should be allowed to choose who rents their flats, home, room, etc. Now on to pets. Landlords sometimes have an aversion to pets. Um, and this white paper promises forthcoming legislation, which gives private renters the right to have pets. Um, so I don't know if, what that's going to cause. I know that some pets, there are problems with that. You can have, um, you know, you can have hair and that can cause future tenants to um, have allergies. And then what if they complain and say it's an unfit place to live? Does the landlord then get fined lots of money by this new ombudsman? I don't know. Is buy to let dead? I don't know. But there's certainly a lot of restrictions now. And um, I think this the net effect of this could be a lot of different things. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and talk it through. I think the net effect is it's going to drive a lot of landlords outside of the property market. Already hundreds of thousands of landlords have sold. That means there's going to be less rental properties. Why? Because they're selling to um, first time buyers and maybe other landlords. If they sell to first time buyers, there's a lot less rental stock, which increases the price of renting for renters. Now, these new regulations are going to make it much harder and much more onerous to own property. Yes, they should increase the quality of the property. But I just think the the act of managing the property, the act of um trying to get rid of a problem tenant could be a real problem um, and cause a lot of stress, maybe not financial stress, but I think a lot, a lot of stress for landlords. I don't know what it's going to do for agents. Um, I'm not an agent, um, but I think it would increase their stress as well. And that might drive maybe some smaller um, letting agents outside of the market. What does this ha What's the net effect for everyone else? Well, there'll be a lot of buy to let landlords selling, they're going to look to make returns somewhere where I'm not sure, maybe the stock market, although a lot of people are fearful of the stock market. Um, I think it's an interesting time in the stock market. You have a lot of good companies that have lost a lot of um, pricing. Uh, their valuations have decreased, whereas the businesses haven't changed that much. So maybe they'll invest in shares. Maybe they'll invest in crypto. I don't know. But this is a major 
major update for um, property investors and people that own property. And, you know, people might say this is not in, in law yet. Yes, it's not in law yet. But look at what George Osborne did in the UK. He put in a whole raft of property laws, which quick uh, suggestions, and they quickly became laws. And um, although there was a phasing of some of those laws, um, they they had a dramatic impact on the property investment community. And if you're someone like myself, fairly young, looking to try and make a bit of extra money on the side, this is terrible news. Anyway, let me know. Are you a renter? Do you think this is good for you? Having less uh, rental property to choose from, having a, a situation where potentially rents go up by a couple of hundred pounds a month, maybe. Um, are you a landlord? Is this going to change your decision making? Are you going to sell? What, what are you going to do now? Um, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Remember, I make videos, as I said in my recent video about the direction of this channel, about how to invest in terms of, and it's not guides, it's just my thoughts and opinions, and I'm looking into and actively investing in startups, as well as property, as well as maybe cryptos as well. If you like the sound of these, check out my other videos. I do analyses of all these different things, and I've got analyses of pitch deck videos for startups, and I'm also doing, going to be doing some videos about property. Make sure to check them out. If you like them, smash the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, the knowledge is power, especially about kind of knowledge and progress. It's everything. I'll see you guys in the next upcoming video. Take care.